Hey, hey, kindergartners. It's great to see everybody again. Today is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. Hello, smart students. I cannot wait for our first Google Meet. There's the little icon of the Google Meet app. Make sure, parents, that you are downloading Google Meet and not Google Hangouts. There are two different apps. Um, and we need meet to be able to do um, enough people for the students in our class, okay? I will see many of you in just a bit at 9.30 a.m. I can't wait. I hope it goes well. So your kindergarten jobs today are, one, meet with me if you would like at 9.30 via the Google Meet app. Two, you need to do your Letterland lesson with Mrs. K. Three, you have a writing lesson with Mrs. Rose. Four, as always, I hope you read for 15 minutes minimum. That means at least 15 minutes. Maybe you can do longer. And then fifth, we have media or library, as I like to call it, with Mrs. Potter today. I think she's been assigning some cool activities. So check out her activity in the Seesaw class app. Love from me, Mrs. Feldkamp. Okay, let's get to our featured student so we can give a shout out. This student, I'm sure, has been waiting patiently for her turn. There's my first clue, it's a girl. This student's name starts with an A. Surprise, surprise, because a fifth of our whole class's names start with A. And the next letter in this student's name is actually a U. So instead of saying A or A at the beginning of her name, it says A. Ah. I bet you know who I'm talking about. It is Aubrey. Shout out to Aubrey. We miss you so much. I miss all of the fantastic projects you would create in kindergarten. So I hope you're still getting to make some cool projects at home and that you're doing really well at your house. I miss you and the rest of our class super much. I am going to write your name, Aubrey, right here. Class, follow along with me. She starts with a capital A, of course, because people's names are important. We start them with a capital letter, and then I said U is next. Ah, b, b, b. I hear B next. Ah, brr. Do you hear the er? It's kind of snuck in there. And then at the end of Aubrey's name, we hear the E sound. To make the E sound at the end of her name, it's an E and a Y. All right, let's count up the vowels in Aubrey's name, A-E-I-O-U. So A is one, U is two, and then she has an E right there. So there are three official vowels in Aubrey's name. I'm going to make my plus sign since we're adding the consonants now. Count the consonants with me. B is 1, R is 2, and Y is 3. Another six-letter name with equal amounts of vowels and consonants. 3 plus 3 more is how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A lot of you knew 3 plus 3 equals 6. All right, Aubrey, shout out to you. Thanks for letting us use your name in our message today. Let's move on now, kindergarten students, to our calendar. And it will load here in just a minute. There it is. We are already on the 28th, the last week in the month of April. To make a 28, I need to start with 20, two groups of 10. So I'm writing a 2 to represent that. Then eight is our snowman number. Make an S and go back home. All right. Can you hear baby Ruby in the background of my video? She is chatting up a storm right now. All right. I'm going to drag my bunny rabbit pattern piece onto 28 to continue our pattern and then adjust our arrows tomorrow, today, and yesterday. All right, look at where yesterday's pointing. Point backwards, it happened a day ago, ready? Yesterday was Monday. Take a peek at what our yellow today arrow is pointing to. Right here, right now, today is 
Tuesday. And our blue tomorrow arrows pointing to the day of the week that starts with woof with a W. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Let's do our weather from yesterday. So yesterday when I woke up in the morning, it was actually rainy. But then the sun came out and it got really, really nice out. So I did a rainy day and a sunny day since it was kind of both yesterday. We need to clear our temperatures from this past week. We had temperatures in the 40s, 50s, and 60s last week. So we're going to clear those now. And we will start a new one here. Yesterday, it reached a high of about 73 degrees. I think this is the first time in April that we are getting to graph a 70s. So count by tens with me as the mercury rises up our thermometer. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 3. We are well within that warm range in our temperature. Kindergartners, can you remember back this winter when some days it was so cold that we didn't even need to draw a line at all? And now look at us. It's getting warmer and warmer as we move our way through the springtime. Okay, kindergartners, it's time to t add another tally for another day in the month of April. So, yesterday we had 27 days. We're adding one more. One more than 27 is what? 28. So I'll erase this 7 in the ones place and I'll fill it in with an 8. So we have 28. Okay, count by fives with me, ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, switch to ones, 26, 27, 28. Nice work. All right, mathematicians, I decided to go with another trickier number for our adding practice today. Since I knew yesterday you had all that wonderful addition equation practice with Mrs. Coleman on your math lesson. So I chose 12 today. 12 is one of our teen numbers. So let me give you a little reminder of one easy equation that will make 12. 12 is one group of 10. So you can start out with the number 10. I'll add my plus sign. 12 is a group of 10 and how many extra ones? Well, it shows us right here, two extra ones. So that means that 10 and two more equals 12. Kindergartners at home right now, can you think of two more ways that you could add up and make 12? Why don't you try it with your families now? The last thing that I wanna do with you for our check-in video is this poem called Spring because the weather has been so nice and it's just a nice way to recognize that spring is here. So go ahead and read this poem with me. When we're through reading it together, then I want you to pause the video so you can see the words and see if you can read this spring poem all by yourself. I bet you can because one word keeps repeating throughout the whole poem and it's the word spring. Here we go. What springs in spring? Buds spring, leaves spring, flowers spring, trees spring, plants spring, grass springs, robins sing in spring. Go ahead and pause it and see if you can read through this springtime poem yourself. Kindergartners, um, that's all I have for today because I'm going to hurry over to our Google Meet. I can't wait to see you. I hope it works well and everybody gets logged on. If you're having any troubles, just text me or send me a message and I will try to get you logged on. All right, bye-bye. Have a great day.